Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm here to plan for February 24th through um, March 1st and this week I'm going to be using a planner cake kit. I am going to be using kit mini kit 216 and I have a couple different sheets that I've been using that I have all ready to go. I recently redid my sticker binder situation. Um, the video tomorrow, I'm going to have a video on Saturday, which I normally don't do, um, but I skipped a couple videos this week. So I'm going to have one up tomorrow about my new setup, and I think you guys are going to really like it. It's actually the, the best setup that I've had ever of all my sticker binders. Included in there is going to be a D-stash. Um, I'm going to be talking about my D-stash and how it's going to work, but basically I have an entire stack of stickers that I don't use anymore. Um... And I wanted to really just kind of cut down what I had. So I do have a D-Stash Instagram account. It's, um, I'll post it on my Instagram again. But if you want to pick up some stickers at a discount price, let me know um, down below. And I will have that video up on Saturday. And then all of the D-Stash stuff will be posted on my Instagram account that's all for D-Stash stuff. So um, I'll definitely do like some bundles of different um, stickers because I'm definitely not going to do them separately. That would be in too insane. Um, so look out for those bundles and I'll have them shipped out like early next week um, if you guys are interested. But I have a ton of them. Um, I kept a bunch, but there's a lot that I just know I'm not going to use. I haven't been using for a while, so I don't want to hold on to it if I'm not going to use it. So anyway, um, this is the kit that we're going to be using, and um, I do have kind of a setup that's been working for me, so I'm going to be doing something similar to that. I talked about this before, but my office is a little different right now, which is why the why it looks a little different. I'm still trying to get into the groove of like filming here, and you can tell the lighting's just not perfect. I need to get another lamp today. Me and Jason are going to go to Target, so hopefully I can find some lamps that will work. But anyway, let's get right into it. The first thing that I wanted to show you guys was this past week. So I want to do something similar because this has really worked well. Um, I'm going to try and figure out a cutting schedule and like everything that will work based off of... Um, Macy's school schedule because then Macy can be at school and then Jason can be kind of one-on-one -on -one with Mila and I can get a lot of work done during that time. So that's kind of my goal. But I'm going to do something very similar this week because I really liked how this worked. So the first thing that I'm going to do is just put up my washi at the top. I'm going to think I'm going to cover up my stuff again like I did last time and I'm going to need big covers. And I'm going to need my um, white out because I know that I'm gonna have an issue with some of these and I don't wanna put it down and have to retake it out. So anyway, I really like this setup and um, I'm gonna try it again this week and see how I like it. I don't know if I'm gonna do it every single week but it really worked out nicely last week so I'm gonna do it again. And I'm gonna ha definitely have to check back at last week to see the dates. 24th. We start on the 24th. This week Mila will be two months old. It's kind of confusing with a birthday um, being on the 31st. I like the weeks or the months that there are no 31st like it kind of gets confusing but I'm just going to assume that she is two months old when we hit the first because that's kind of the easiest way to do it. Um, so it's kind of crazy to think that she's already two months old like Time is kind of flying by. I talked about it last week, but I go back in March. So like the fact that we are going to be in March, that means that my maternity leave is very quickly coming to an end and I'm not ready for it at all. I am really, really not looking forward to going back. And I think a lot of it, like with Macy, I was ready. I wanted to go back to work so bad. Um, just because I wanted my routine back and now I kind of have a routine and I think I've also just kind of realized too that things, time goes by so fast with the kids. I really just don't want to miss out on anything. Like Mila's already so different. She smiles all the time now. She's so happy. I know like when she's the happiest I can plan things kind of around that. Um, and I'm just really not ready to get, you know, to be back and not have time with her. 
And Macy's doing great in school. Um, today is Friday when I'm filming this and she is at school right now. She just had her first ballet lesson and she is loving it. I can tell from all the pictures. Her preschool sends us pictures and that's really awesome um, because I like, I don't know, I think I would be really sad if I did not get to see, if I did not get to see those pictures of her. Okay, so I covered all of that up and now I'm gonna need this here and then I have to figure out what color I want to do for the stickers. And I think I might do, I might do blue. Um, maybe I should do, I'm trying to figure out what color date dots I should do. This is a little tricky because I kind of want to like, I like that there's some pink in here, so I kind of want to do that, but I don't know if there's gonna be a pink that really goes. You know what, I think I might do the navy. Because there is some navy and it'll like really stand out up here, so I think I'm gonna do the navy. Okay, so again, I'm not gonna try and make this perfect because I know it's not going to be, but I'm just going to kind of put it right at the top, right where it starts, and then go from there. So, 24th. I think she's, I think Mila's smiling at Jason right now because I hear him talking to her. Okay, so 25th. There's a potential that my sister may come to visit. We have not seen my sister in a while. Probably the longest that we've gone without seeing her. And she has her baby, so we haven't seen him either. Obviously, they haven't seen Mila, so it'd be really fun if they came. But I don't know if they're coming yet, so I'm not gonna put that in just yet. I really love this setup. I think it's like one of my favorite things that I've tried. And I've been trying new things almost every week since um, I had Mila. And I have to say, normally I would be like, oh, I don't want to try new things because I'm not sure if I'm going to like it in my planner. And then it's kind of wasted. But I liked everything so far. So I can't complain. I can't say that. I can't say that it's been a bad thing. So we have the 29th and then we have... Sunday, which is the first. Okay, so that's all in. I just wanna make sure it's all nice and put down. And I don't, I wish that I could find white out that was not, like you probably can't tell it there, but you can definitely see it on the white paper. Okay, so we have that done. Let me go ahead and put these things back. Oh, you know what, I'm gonna need these back. So let me hold on to that, but I'm gonna put the dates back. And one thing that I've noticed about some of the sticker sheets, cause I am using, um, I am using like page protectors for these. Some of the sheets are not like the same size because I'm like having the hardest time getting these in. I'm just gonna wait cause gonna take too long to do that um, I'm just having the hardest time putting it in which is kind of a bummer so I wanted to use this kit because I thought it would go kind of well with the transition between um, between February and March you can see with the kit there's obviously some like pinkish colors in there and then there's green so I thought it would go nicely between the two okay um, for the sidebar I think I'm gonna leave that there because it honestly doesn't bother me but I'm gonna put my to do and stuff down my to do in this week oops I accidentally took took one of those off okay so I need my to do and then I need this week one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, 
and then we'll put this week down. Okay, so that's all good to go. On the side, I do like to put in like my days down here. So um, I have videos normally Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then Sunday. So I wanted to make sure I put those in. And then for my to-do list, again, I don't know what I'm gonna get done yet, so I'm not gonna move anything over just yet. Um, in terms of cutting stuff, I'll do that in a second. I need to actually go grab that. But I do want to put in some of my events and Macy's School and stuff, so we'll do that right now. Okay, so now that that is in, let's go ahead and see what we have going on for this month or for this week. Um, so we basically have preschool, preschool, oh my eyelash film, and then the normal type of stuff. So main thing is my eyelash film. I'm going to put that in right now. So that's at 9 a.m. Actually, let me wait. I'm going to put in Macy's school stuff first. So she will have school on Monday. Wednesday and Friday. I'm gonna try and use all my leftover washi before I use the extra strip that I have. Hopefully I have enough. That'd be a bummer if I don't. So we have Monday. Wednesday. I'm just putting it like where I would be picking or dropping her off and then I'll do the same thing for when I'm picking her up. Her school is actually very close to my job. So it is a drive right now for me, but I know that when um when I go back to work, it'll be really nice. It's just kind of a bummer right now because it takes a while in the morning and in the afternoon to go and get her. But it's also really good for her to be there, so not the worst thing. Okay, so that is when I will be dropping her off. Okay, so that's in, and then we can go ahead and do when I need to pick her up as well. This is a little different washi, but it's completely okay. So we will pick her up right around here, right around four, and we got home right around five. So I think this will be a good time to put it down. And I'm pretty sure that I won't have much left over washi, so I'm at least using it. <laughs> using it efficiently. And then on Friday. Okay. So that's all I have left in terms of washi. Not too bad. All right, let's go ahead and grab her stickers for pickup and drop off. So I have these, this sheet is S432. Um, so I just use the drop off sticker right at the top and then the pickup right at the top here. And obviously, you know that it goes across there. So that's kind of that. And then she does have preschool at her other preschool. And that is just for a couple hours a day. But I'm hoping I can still get stuff done during that time. So I do want to mark that as well. This will just be the biggest time that I can get stuff done. I am going to go ahead and put in my check boxes. Um... I just want to like make sure that I get certain stuff like I am for sure get stuff done during this time. So I'm going to go ahead and put those down. 
I will know that I will have plenty of time to like get orders done and whatever else that needs to get done during this set time. So that will stay like that. And then for her other preschool, I want to see how I marked it last time. She was off on Thursday and I totally forgot to mark, to mark that. So it's kind of good that I remembered to fix it later. Um, but she will have preschool. Let's see. I'm going to go with the Navy. On Tuesday and Thursday. And I'm going to use some washi to kind of mark that as well. I have some thin washi that I can use. I think I'm going to use light blue. I have some light blue that I can use here. And we'll just kind of mark until she gets home. So they're normally there. They leave around 830. And then she's there until about 1. So we'll mark that. And I think what we're going to try and do is like Jason will take Mila to go pick Macy up at 11. So I'll have like two hours or so where I can get stuff done on those dates as well. But I can usually get some stuff done with Mila. It's just a little bit harder because feeding and changing and you know just making sure that she's happy while I'm getting stuff done. She can usually hang out for like a video and that's about it. Okay so that's all of Macy's preschool stuff. I don't think I will have the same set up when I get back to work. I might still have the drop off and pick up um, in my planner because obviously I'll be doing that but um, like the other preschool I will not be marking because I won't be able to get anything done and I don't really need to do anything for that anyway. Okay so that's that's all of that. I do have my eyelash appointment on Friday at 9 a.m. so I do need to mark that. I think what I'm going to do is just move this down and put it in. Right there. So. And then 10 a.m. church on Sunday. Again, a lot of this might be different depending on if my sister comes to visit or not. That will definitely make our spread a little different. But for now, we're just going to plan as if she's not coming because it's not for sure. She has told me that she's going to visit a lot of times in the last however long it's been and she has not. So I'm not going to hold my breath just yet. And then swim lessons on Sunday at two. So we have that. And there's also Home Depot day on Sunday. So that's gonna be a very eventful day. Um, I don't know when they're gonna go unless they go really early or in between there but I'll put it down anyway it'll be interesting to see when they go though I'm just trying to figure out how I want to mark it.
I'll just put it at the top and I, I'm sure they'll go because Macy loves Home Depot Day. It's just gonna be a kind of a tight day depending on if they go before or after. Okay, so that's in. Let's see if we're forgetting anything else. Um, I'm gonna put Mila's two months in. So I'll need to have I'll need need to take a picture. I'm just gonna put it at the very end here. Okay, so I think that's it in terms of events going on preschool. I think that's pretty much it in terms of that. And then I do need to also put in um, my cutting schedule, which. I think I have here. So, okay. So I think until when? Until Tuesday. I need to cut washi. And then the only other thing we have. Is Friday and Saturday. Okay, so we have washi here. Oops. Then we have dead and strips. And then monthlies. Eight and a half weekly and sinking. And then we start eight and a half budget and transaction. Okay, so that will be my cutting schedule for this upcoming week and then again i think i'm gonna try to do i might do them on other days as well but i think i'm gonna plan on doing orders and restocks on monday wednesday and friday If I have time the other days, I will do them as well, but right now I'm going to try and just get them done when I know Macy will not be here. It's just a little bit easier to get them done those days. Okay. And I think the only other thing that I want to put in is how many more weeks I have until I'm back at work. I did that this past week and I had five weeks, so now I have four weeks left. Time. 
Okay. So I think that's pretty much it for this plan with me. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing me set it all up. This week obviously is a lot more full than last week because now that Macy has school on Mondays as well, I think this is gonna be really good for us just to be able to get a lot of stuff done. Um, I will definitely add in checklists on Tuesdays and Thursday, depending on when I'm able to get stuff done and all of that. Um, but other than that, that's pretty much it for this week. Again, it's gonna be really nice just having a little bit more time to work on stuff um, and I really like how this turned out so hopefully you guys did and you got some fun ideas um, but other than that um, I will see you guys next time bye guys